welcome to the Arcade Saga. My name is Hilke Jan Wiersma, also known as EJ. So yesterday I have an unboxing uh, video for you guys. Uh, I already did take the Arcade out, so if you see the boxes open I didn't have a sneak peek. But I'm uh, filming this intro after the unboxing. It has to do with time. So uh, anyhow, it doesn't matter for the video. But this is the actual box they came in. And these Arcades are coming from Arcades for You. Um, Maybe you are like me, but as soon as I come across a video or a Facebook group and somebody is mentioning a, a new, for me, new Arcad seller that does ship uh, through the whole EU, which uh, she does, uh, Debbie from Arcads for You. So uh, then I save that uh, link for the website or I save that website in my uh, in a folder on uh, on my computer, and uh, once in a while I take a look, and that's how I uh, came across and uh, did find most of my. Markets. So I might have a new seller for you guys because I didn't hear much uh, from her in uh, on YouTube videos yet. Um, I do hear a lot about and good things about her uh, on uh, Facebook and Facebook groups. So I thought I said to Debbie uh, after I did order, I said um, I'm going to make an unboxing video, and who knows, maybe some of these uh, viewers of mine, very kind people, they go over to your website and uh, and have a look, and maybe they find some. Uh, that they like. So if you do, uh, just uh, let Debbie know and just say uh, uh, the Arcade Saga, ETA from the Arcade Saga says hi, then we all know that you watch this video. I'm not sponsored by her, uh, I didn't ask for it, I just offered it because I think she deserves it. But it's nice to know if, uh, if you saw this video, if it, if it sort of helps. So uh, let us know if it works. Uh, like I said, because I think she uh, deserves the credit. She has these beautiful plants, uh, fairly rare ones here and there, so that's also what I like. Plus, because she's not a big nursery, um, the pictures that she takes uh, is, is uh, 9, of the, nine of, uh, out of 10 times is for the actual plants you are buying. So that's nice, I think, because most of the times if we buy orchids, we just buy them from a fairly big seller and they just have pictures from the internet and that's it. But in this case, uh, most of the times you will see the actual plant you are uh, buying. So that's a good thing. And she also, if she can, takes pictures of the blooms. Uh, I will share some, those were her own pictures, and otherwise she will show them uh, from, from uh, other colleagues, I, I believe, or from the internet, I'm not completely sure. I cannot show them in this video because I didn't ask the, the, the person that made that picture, but I did ask the Debbie and she said, it's okay, you can use my photos. So if I have them, while we're going to unbox them, I will show you the pictures. And of course, I have the links in the video description, and we will have a link of the Facebook group. Uh, I believe you need to join in to join, uh, become a member of the Facebook group. It's free; it doesn't cost you, uh, cost you anything. It's a beautiful uh, Facebook group, and she posts there uh, quite often her new plans. And she also has something that I believe is called uh, a marketplace or something like that. I'm not f f familiar with that personally, uh, but I will take a look and I will uh, show you some footage uh, probably by now. And of course, I will have that link in the video description as well. So speaking of which, the marketplace is new to me. So uh, you now know in which folder it goes. Who knows? I didn't have a uh, good look yet, but who knows? I, I believe there are quite some sellers on there. Anyhow, I have plants enough as you can see. So maybe I need to wait a while. Um, so that's said and done. And like I said, I didn't, I, I haven't been sponsored or anything, but I really like to uh, help people out. And who knows? Uh, I think it's very important to uh, keep the businesses running, and especially the small business uh, businesses. <laughs> so I hope, uh, I hope you all uh, uh, like it and have a look at the orchids for you. That's said and done. It's now time to have a look at the plants. And there is one that I never grew before. So there's an orchid genre that I didn't try because I thought I don't know if I can give it the setup that it needs. And I think it grows similar to a Tselumnia and a few months back I think two months back or so, I did uh, repop my Telomnias into a cell watering setup. Um, I will make a video one day about them and so far I can really see improvement and I thought now I'm going to try it because Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. Uh, if I cannot uh, give the orchid uh, the, the 
requirements that it needs to grow well, strong, and uh, be beautiful, I'm not gonna buy it. So, uh, because, because like I said, it, that doesn't make sense. But I think uh, this one might like it. Anyhow, it's in, in the box, and uh, well, it's uh, uh, going to be out of the box in a minute. Let's start this unboxing and uh, let's see what plans I did find by Orchids for you. So here we are you guys, let's have a look. It says on the box, don't leave outside and, and plants. So uh, that's good, of course, we don't want our precious plants uh, kept outside in the too cool uh, temperatures. What I did, I just opened uh, the tape. I didn't have a look inside yet. So uh, that's what we're going to do now. So yes, first we have the invoice. And let me see. I will uh, show you quickly the logo. Orchids for you. There is that. <clears throat> and this is uh, very well packed, as you can see, you guys. Very well. So yes, uh, are you uh, curious which one uh, was the reason I started this uh, order yet? Like I said, I never had it before. Oh, and I think I'm going to start with it. I think I'm going to start with it. Yes, <laughs> funny enough. That wasn't planned. A Neo Phoenicia. I never had a Neo Phoenicia before. This is the Kibana, Neo Phoenicia Kibana. And she allowed me to use some uh, photos of her uh, website. The photos that she took herself because of copyright issues so um i will show you some pictures as well but look at this beautiful some side shoots and even a very tiny one over here so yeah that looks uh, very very pretty nice flush green color and roots of course on my camera yeah there we go at least one nice root looking good so that's the first one Let's put her over here. <clears throat> Let's have a look for the next one. Ah, there's a the next one coming. Yes. This Plusheriana. Plush, uh, it's uh, Plusheriana. And I don't remember the species name on top of my head. I will put it in the screen. She mentioned this already because I told her of the uh, unboxing video. This is a, a little gift. So thank you so much, it's so kind. So this is the gift. And I will uh, also put a picture of the blooms. So look at those leaves. Beautiful. I don't have this in my collection. So thank you so much. It's a very, very nice present. I love the leaves. The, the reeds, I believe, something like that it is called. Yeah, very, very kind. Thank you so much. So she does this. And some nurseries do, some other nurseries do as well. You get these freebies from time to time. Very uh, much appreciated, of course. It's very kind. Uh, let me check. I need to put this on the table. There's so much and the plants are in there. So just to be safe and sure that I don't miss a plant. Of course, I'm going to check the invoice if I did catch them all. <laughs> Here we find another one, the next one. And this is a little fell. Nagashkia cross. Na Nagash Nagaska Sak <laughs> crossed with Japonica. Look at that. Oh, and I think I ordered this one. I'm, I should have. I'm not even sure. But the other one was the gift. I see this. Let me see that one. I'm going to quickly check um, if I can find it on my invoice. So let me uh, do this. Ah, uh, uh, you see? I think this is a gift as well. Yeah, I need to look it up. I will not uh, do it uh, 
Yeah, I'm checking it, but I, I'm not completely sure. I think she's put in another one. You make my doubt. You make me doubt myself. <laughs> That's funny. So far, anyhow, good-looking plants. I'm sorry, you guys, but it's yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Growing tips. Beautiful flush green roots. Very very healthy. And yes, for me, if you ask me, she's known for her healthy plants, and she's very kind, always willing to help. So yeah, I said I'm going to do an unboxing video. Who knows? Who knows, right? Maybe you guys would like to order from her as well. And here we have the next one. This one I did order, I'm sure. <laughs> this is the Bulbophyllum Sumatranum. Sumatranum. I hope you can read the tag there. There we go. And again, look at that. And most of the time she takes pictures of the plants you are buying. So that's very, very nice. We have a new growth over here. Oh, you can, well, my camera. <laughs> Look at that. Nice roots. Nice roots. More roots over here. A few. I think this is, might be fresher repotted. I'm not completely sure. But it looks good. Nice, healthy leaves. Look at that. Very, very nice. So I'm pretty, I'm sure, I'm not pretty sure, I'm sure that I did order that one. It has these beautiful flowers. Um, let's check. Yeah, there is another one. Uh, I think this is, yeah, this is the Cambria. Yeah, Cambria is a uh, common name. It's not really a uh, orchid name for a group of orchids. But a lot of them are, uh, most of them are uh, odontoglossum, oncidium types plants. And this one has the most beautiful blooms. It's a no ID. So, and she said it on the on website as well. And they were fairly cheap. When she posted it, she had two. And when I asked if she had one for sale yet, and she said, yes, actually I have only one. <laughs> but I will show you the blooms. Probably already have. But yeah, they were so, so beautiful. So I thought, yeah, even though it's no idea, I'm, I'm gonna give that a try. Absolutely beautiful blooms. Let's take uh, the tape off. I'm not completely sure why I'm doing this now because the other ones are left behind. I'm a little bit excited, I think. <laughs> yeah, I already know because I wanted to show, case the plant a little bit better. You see, there's the plant. Very nice and this part is a little bit loose, a little bit wobbly, but it is a small plant, so I didn't expect m a huge root system yet that's to become, and that's okay. But we have some roots over here. They look a little bit dry, so I might give this a watering. Also, the bulb's a little bit shriveled, so I think it's a little bit thirsty. But yeah, very uh, nice price. I think it was only 10 euros or something. And yeah, it's already starting a new growth. At least it looks like it. So yeah, there's another one. Now we're getting into a bigger pot. A bigger pot. Yeah, I ordered this one as well. This one I had on my list for quite a while. Um, but it's very, uh, it starts to become quite expensive in my experience if it is uh, larger than this so a more uh, mature plant so I thought well you know what I'm, I'm, I'm trying I will try to grow this bigger myself and then I uh, can afford it a little bit better uh, so let's get this tape off as well so we can have a look at the plants a little bit better so yeah very very well packed Here it is. And I need to grab the tag. This is the Pragmapidium dick salamentis. Uh, salamentis. I probably, again, do not pronounce this correctly. There we go. Salamentis. Clements. Clements could be. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm very bad with names. But it has these beautiful, very nice red flowers. And as you can see, this uh, new growth, uh, oh, the old growth, I'm sorry, is making two new growths. 
So I thought it looks like a very healthy, promising plan. So let's uh, let's give it a go. Twenty-five euros. There we go. Oh, okay. See, so very nice with my uh, dirty nails. I've been uh, repotting some uh, outside plants, <laughs> so I have some dirt underneath my nails. But anyhow, doesn't matter. There we go. Um, I think we are almost there. Ah, I see something green. So there is something more. There we go. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. Ah, I remember. Uh, this one has a uh, quite a root system. I did recently bought another variety of this one, a very teeny tiny one. Ah, the tape is everywhere now. <laughs> and this is, I think, a favorite amongst uh, quite a lot of people. Again, if you try to find it uh, at a mature, a mature size, it's not even that easy, but it's probably very expensive. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it this seedling a try look at that oh it has two new growths here and there maybe two plants but it looks like one plant if you see the back bulbs look at that so i think it's a uh, two new growths i'm not completely sure but this is a uh, cattleya maxima you can see it. yeah there it goes and now it's 15 euros so that's a nice reasonable price now look at the roots beautiful absolutely beautiful so let's put her on the table as well and let me quickly check i think we are there yes so i'm going to clean up and then we will have a close look at all the plants together so here we are. I have the camera in my hand, so it's easier to film them up close. First of all, <laughs> you guys, I need to mention something. I feel a little bit stupid. Uh, well, I kind of sort of was onto it, but look, it's so ex yeah, extra, it's so obvious. She said extra gifts and then two. So these two are both extra gifts. Debbie, thank you so much. Her name is Debbie. Uh, she owns uh, Orchids for You. It's so kind. Thank you so much. And what a nice surprise to. She added this one as well. She mentioned this one, but she added this one. And believe it or not, I was looking at this one. I was thinking maybe should I give it a try or not and then I decided well already I have a few more orders coming in I already have so many plans so maybe maybe someday maybe someday and now it's a gift so thank you so much and this one again look at the leaves absolutely beautiful yeah so thank you so much and looking very healthy in both of them here's that beautiful Cattleya Maxima and yeah, I really, really do think if we look close, you see there's only one tiny bulb at the end of this. Here it is, this one I'm referring to. So it probably is one seedling. Yeah, can you see that? I think they both start from the same rise. And anyhow, it doesn't matter that much, but I really would appreciate it if it's one plant. It makes it look quite a bit bigger if it starts multiple growths, of course. Very nice one. Then the bubble film. Yeah, I, I, I didn't need more bubble films. <laughs> I have quite a few and they take up a little bit more extra space. Normally, or most of them have that long rhizom. So they take up a little bit of thinking about how you to pot them, etc. But this one has such so beautiful blooms. And I'm not sure, but just looking at the blooms, I thought this probably may have a nice fragrance. I have no idea, but just it looks like it. Maybe I'm completely wrong. I hope one day we will find out if it has a better uh, fragrance. Most boba phylums, as you probably know, have this dirty, old, uh, rotting meat smell. This looks like a better one, a variety, smell, uh, uh, fragrance wise. <laughs> Who knows? Anyhow, beautiful, beautiful. And yeah, this is the one it started with. Because of my Tolomnias, uh, I need to do an update on them, which will come soon. I have them in a, in a uh, self watering setup. A little bit adjusted compared to other ones, but so far they are doing well. And I thought now I'm going to give a Neo Phoenicia as a try as well. 
because I think it might uh, like that area where I keep my telomeres as well. So, and this one has the beautiful yellow uh, flowers. So if you know me, I love yellow flowers. So I needed, that's sort of kind of needed to start with a yellow one. And uh, if it succeeds, if it goes well, I will try to find a bluish one. You have this beautiful, almost blue flowered neophonesis as well. Who knows? Uh, this is the... Uh, Cambria uh, Oncidium Odontocidium type plant. Nice young plant as you can see. So she had it in flower and that's why I bought it. Beautiful, uh, beautiful flowers. And for repotting it into a semi-hydroponic setup, uh, I prefer uh, younger plants. They do like to take it a little bit easier to adjust in a new uh, setup. You can imagine if you have a more mature plant that is used to growing in bark on moss for years and years and then you suddenly put it in a completely different environment it it almost takes all the roots they will all rot and it needs to completely start again where this one is sort of still growing and adjusting and uh let's say uh growing shortly into the world so it it isn't used to this type of media as much yet which is which is kind of makes sense if you ask me and my second uh, pragmapidium. Well, look at that. In the background now, I only have one, this huge one. And I thought, well, that one needs a friend. And I was, like I said, looking for this one. I thought, I'm not going to buy another one if I find the dick... Salamence. Uh, oh my gosh. Then I will give that a, a try because it's just beautiful. Clemensis. Clemensis, I believe, the Clemensis. And yeah, it happened to be she had this one as well with two new growths, two new shoots on one bulb. So I think that's that's good for a Pragmapidium. Overall, very, very happy. Very, very happy. So, um, Debbie from Orchids From You, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And you guys, I suggest uh, look into my video description and head over to my website. You never know, maybe there's something you like and uh, she's very kind, she's absolutely, uh, her business is absolutely worth uh, going over to, uh, at and have a look at the beautiful plants she is selling. For now, uh, thank you so much you guys, thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoy uh, this video. And of course, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and I hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye. <laughs>